a lot of this inquiry, as you would imagine, has to do with when this document was signed. Who signed it? Erwin Contreras. The United Democratic Party. No, no, say Erwin, because you're falling into their narrative. Oh, sorry, sorry. Then My you bad. have an attorney general now. Listen to this. Mm. I saw him on the news the night before last. on every night, I think. Every night. Or the, the saying, and, and imagine this, and it, it actually got past a lot of you, saying, I was aware of this definitive agreement. Why well, haven't we signed? He Listen. He was, he was aware it was floating around. Aware, aware it was floating around. It was almost like he was playing hot potato and hiding from it. Man, you were the attorney general. You have a fiduciary duty to this country to make sure that if there is a fraudulent document floating around, it will not affect the Belizean people in the millions of dollars in damages. So that was reckless on his part. That was a dereliction of duty by the former Attorney General to say, I know about it, but I don't want to see it. I they hide from it. What kind of nonsense that? You were the Attorney General, you know, so a liar. And I guess who drafted the thing? Morales. And who? Perfit. What's the name of the law firm? Say That's the name of the Morales and Perfit. And when was that uh, partnership severed? Post election? Oh, I have beautiful. No idea. After the signing of Mike the. Mike says he relinquished his shares. After the signing of the Portico Agreement.